Um, and recently now, you know, the taxi stand from Kohima Town to, has been shifted to the I, mm -hmm. ISPD. Okay. I mean, and, and it, it has really helped clearing the traffic congestion for sure. Mm -hmm. And everybody experiences that. However, there is a complaint that, example, I recently I took a taxi from Vivo Hotel to go to ISPD. Okay. It costed me about 400 rupees. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And it has costed me like from to go to Timapur, it costed me about just 330 rupees. Mm -hmm. But before I began the journey mm -hmm. to get a taxi, it had costed me more than that. Okay. I mean, people have, um, I mean, people are also like uh, 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 reasonable to say that it has um, added extra burden on their financial life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it has ac added a lot of financial burdens, especially on the poorer section of society. Mm -hmm. The policy is good and the policy is, op I mean, ab achieving its objectives of clearing mm -hmm. the traffic. Um, but it, there's, I mean, policy like this has like reportedly added a lot of burden on the poorest section of the society. Okay. So um, as an administrator, how would you justify and how would you explain on this? So before I respond to that, I'll just clarify about the shifting. Yeah. Because it's not like all the uh, taxis are shifted to the ISBT. Mm -hmm. So you have the local taxis, you have the regional taxis. Mm -hmm. Local taxis which ply within Kohima town. Yeah. So the that uh, they will have a lot of uh, taxi stands in different parts of the town. So mm -hmm. they are not shifted. They are they're here and there. And the regional taxis, there are Dimapur bound taxis, mm -hmm. which are shifted to ISBT and even Assam bound. They are shifted to ISBT. Then there is this uh, northern bound which goes to Woka district, Mokokchu mm -hmm. and all, which are shifted to a little uh, beyond Vivor Hotel. Yes. There is a parking place. Yes. And the southern bound taxis also on the verge of shifting. Mm -hmm. And this western bound, which are going to this Jotsoma set also on the verge of shif shifting. And the taxis are also bound to go to Fake district and uh, beyond uh, Fake Kifre mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. So they are also shifted to another taxi point. So why we have done this? Because... Uh, See, the re regional taxi is like originating, collecting passengers from here and originating within the heart of the town. It mm -hmm. creates a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. And uh, as of now, Kohima town, there is, uh, it's like a proper bottleneck. We don't have a bypass road. There is a Kohima bypass under construction, but it will take another two or three years. So you don't have a other road to bypass. So everything moves within Kohima town. And you can't expand the road. The roads are yeah. what it is and... I believe for some, at least for some years it will be what it will be mm. uh, because of the shops and houses just on the yes. sides of the road. Yes. So two, two, three approaches we have done. One, uh, banning heavy vehicles from entering Kohima uh -huh, from uh -huh. early morning, mm -hmm. six o'clock to evening. Then even the Manipur bond uh, trucks are also stopped be, uh, till late evening mm. so that there is no heavy uh, vehicle movement within Kohima mm -hmm. So when it comes to the shifting of taxes, we understand, of course, it's a financial burden. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not like we haven't provided the feeder services. Mm -hmm. We have definitely provided the feeder services. NST buses originating from the NST stand are there dedicated for ISPT, which will charge only 10 rupees from NST. Mm -hmm. If someone is going from high school side, we also have provided a feeder service, which are smart city buses, two of them, okay. they, which are applying to ISBT for only 20 rupees. Mm -hmm. Then there is a service of uh, a smart city bus from BOC side as well. Mm -hmm. Again, only 10 or 20 rupees. So these facilities are already available. But usually sometimes people, what they do, they would prefer to go by a taxi than, than to yeah. go by a bus. Mm -hmm. So if they additionally take a local taxi, definitely they'll have to pay mm -hmm. the local taxi amount. Just like you're traveling from high school junction to BOC, mm -hmm. you'll have to pay something, right? Yeah. So in the same way, they'll have to pay. But if someone is ready to wait for a feeder bus which is already there available <coughs> someone is ready to go by a bus so definitely the feeder services are available and having said that there are some uh, problems definitely there okay and there will be some difficulties in the initial part but uh, i would like to request and i would like to uh, put my comment on record that uh, this initial difficulties definitely will be there but uh, as a society as a team, we'll have to work because mm -hmm. this shifting has not been done for any personal interest. Yeah. Per day, we are reducing a traffic of 300 to 400 vehicles just wow. by shifting mm -hmm. uh, that uh, regional taxis to the ISBT, which is only 4 to 5 kilometers from the town. So if you, see, if you see any major town or metro, definitely the regional taxis or regional services doesn't originate in the heart of the town where the town is located. It will be a little bit towards the outskirt uh, to the destination site so that uh, there is no such traffic coming into the main town of area and as we all know Kohima is like a chalk point so accommodating more regional taxis it will be again difficult and at the same time 
our uh, kohima people citizens are buying cars definitely we can't yes. blame them yes. so per year there is an increase of 800 to 900 new registration vehicles in kohima alone so that is why the traffic is just going up so we need to have remedial measures so uh, we are also working on the facing out of very old vehicle like old taxis yes. and all so that data is also we are collecting okay. so once that is done so definitely we'll have more control over the traffic as i said uh, it's not a one time uh, process or one time approach we need a team work yeah. and even the citizens are part of the team so initial difficulties i understand it is there but uh, if they can kindly bear with us and uh, mm. work as a team mm. we will definitely increase the feeder services if required mm. we will put in more buses as well yes but this shifting is for the larger good mm-hmm. for a less traffic kohima mm. yeah. so it won't it won't be it won't track back it won't re- the policy of shifting won't reverse by any means right oh, no, we don't we are not planning to rather we can right think now. of other solutions like you said providing more feeder yeah. bus yeah definitely and kohima <coughs> bypass road coming up and all so right. definitely it is there yeah. okay um did you consider of the even odd number for the vehicles so that is not practical of course okay. covid time we had run for some days yeah and covid time as i said everyone like they Uh, they don't come out they don't come out much because they were having that stigma of covid right and even uh, g20 summit two days yes, we yes. we tried mm-hmm. but definitely it will lessen the traffic but mm-hmm. is you can't do that every day mm-hmm. like if i have a car with an odd number i will be running my car only 3 4 days in a yeah, week yeah. for no mistake of mine right <laughs> so definitely you can't any emergency you can't uh, just uh, ask that person not to take your vehicle so as a government as a administration team we sh- need to have sustainable solutions yes. but i i don't think or even is a sustainable solution mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in a place like kohima right yes. um at the end of the day whatever policy whatever changes mm-hmm. that we as a government tries to make it i think it's it's for the people and it should yes. be people friendly yes and any policy that uh, creates a lot of issues for people mm. i mean it negates the even the purpose or objective of you know like existence of government mm. itself totally understood yeah um <clears throat> so when you have when you provide more feeder to uh, ISPD definitely i think peop- the, the only reason people are complaining is not the time factor that it takes for them to reach ISPD but the 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 financial factor that they're I so understand. much into but yeah. uh, as i said the feeder services yeah yeah uh, the reports we are getting from smart city they are running the buses with only 2 3 passengers mm. means people are not ready to go by bus okay <laughs> they want to go by taxi mm-hmm. so of course Uh, convenience is one thing but it's a short distance if yeah. they can uh, use these services mm. which are like good condition buses mm. so definitely i think uh, it will be a big relief for them because mm. they charge only 20 rupees or so right yeah compared oh. to the taxi which will charge you 200 to 300 additional rupees mm-hmm. so yeah as i said uh, the policies are for the public good mm. and definitely initially people will have difficulties and there will be difference of opinion mm. but we are also working uh towards a better kohima mm. uh, with the support of the people so mm. i'm sure the people will support us right 